So I just wanted to give a quick overview of some of the things that I use for my electronic projects and computer projects. Uh, this here is the workbench that I use. And I've got some more computers down there in the, in the corner. There's three more down, four more down there. And there's various other computers and things that I have here. I'll give you a quick look at some of the tools and I'll kind of go over everything that I have if you're looking to get started with electronics or whatever. Uh, so basically some of the more common tools, just a multimeter. Uh, let's see, I've got an LED tester in here. Uh, some electrical tape, battery tester. Uh, heat shrink cutter, some crimping tools for RJ11 and RJ45, uh, some wire stripping tools, wire cutters, uh, heat gun, toothbrush I use for cleaning things, rivet gun, some basic screwdrivers, pliers, some ESD brushes for the electronics. I prefer these uh, wire cutters here and some various crimping tools for different size wires. And I also have some networking stuff like some punch down tools and some DC there's Here's mainly my Arduino stuff. I've got a bunch of breadboards that I use. Another uh, Ethernet shield. Some more half-sized breadboards. Some more Arduinos down there. Uh, I get uh, a few of these smaller breadboards, mini breadboards. They work well for things. A servo motor and some header pins. Uh, these are things for my soldering iron which I'll show later. Some solder and some different pins and stuff. Uh, DC motor and some various project cases in case I decide I want to keep a project prototyping pieces here which you can use if you want to permanently keep a project you could solder it on there most everything else in here is uh, PC related uh, and in here are most of my electronic components So there's quite a bit of stuff in here. Uh, I got some H bridge and some optocouplers in here. Uh, some MOSFETs. These are LEDs. It's hard to see through the package what's actually in there. Uh, some more LEDs, different colors. Uh, this is an H bridge. These are RTC, real-time clocks, some various push-button switches, got a bunch of those. Uh, this is a color sensor, just a proto shield for the Adrenal Mega, MOSFET. That's an analog temperature sensor, a couple of power uh, supplies. These are power supplies, some more proto shields for your Adreno Mega, and Uno, another power supply. More LEDs, 
different colors. Tilt sensor. These are some screw terminals. A few capacitors. Alligator clips. Uh, more temperature sensors, humidity sensors. These are female jumper wires, which I really don't have a need for. I've never needed those. If you can see a couple uh, crystals. There's the transistors. In here, these are the uh, these are my uh, five 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 timers. This is a Hall effect sensor. Some little resistors. Some more capacitors. Uh, this is a cool little piece that I found. Uh, it actually allows you to connect a 1220 battery which goes in here and you can connect it directly to your breadboard. There's a positive and negative pin. So you can put a 3 volt battery right on your breadboard. And this is an infrared LED. These are infrared receivers. This is a piezo. Bunch of diodes. Bunch of really tiny, hard to find screws. Any you know, two, three, and four. Uh, number two, three, and four screws and bolts that are really hard to find. At least locally around here, anywhere. Battery snaps, and butt splices, various wires different gauges, different colors, some uh, get them out. These you can use for covering your wires if you want to make them look better. They're just sleeves for your wires. Then you use a little bit of heat shrink with those and they'll uh, make the wires look a little bit better and presentable for various projects. And then on top just my computer The uh, rework station that I have for soldering various components in these. There's nothing really in there. This one here has just got some uh, various resistors, another piezo, some capacitors, some various things in there. This here is a set of solid jumper wires that I use occasionally. really wish there was some black in here. And just some more LEDs. Now this here in this box basically has resistors, quarter watt resistors of every value that you're going to need. Pretty much every value of quarter watt resistors. There's 20 of each. You don't need a kit that big. I just happened to get it off of eBay and it was uh, a few dollars. Uh, some safety glasses. And then up here and all of these yellow boxes again more packs of resistors 
and I got these boxes here for less than ten dollars so I mean it doesn't hurt to have some extra ones there's all different sizes I'll never find, need a resistor that I don't have I guarantee that and there's just another shot of the top of my workbench there got some books that come in handy the ABC book project book that came with the official starter kit getting started with sketches a journal for teens which I just started reading recently and electronics basic electronics book this one shows you all about electronics and doing electronic projects like this one here basically you're making a uh, telephone but it doesn't have anything to do with the Arduino so it's just pure electronics without the Arduino being involved so it shows you how to do a lot of the same things but without the Arduino so that's a good place to start if you're looking to just get into electronics and you don't want to get involved with the Arduino right away because Uh, some projects that I got going on tweezers various color jumper wires so that I don't run out of various colors because that's very annoying uh, helping hand I've got one of these it actually has a magnifying glass that goes with it but I tore that off because it's very annoying and it constantly makes this thing tip over and it doesn't work very well anyway and then these are just some of the projects that I have going on so that is about it for my workstation If you have any questions, feel, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment.